Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you've all had a wonderful day. So today's video is finally my book date. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be doing my book date nine and ten. Um, so obviously, I took a bit of a break from YouTube. Um, if you haven't seen my sort of um, my uh, my sort of like coming back video where I sort of talk about where I went um, and stuff like that, um, then. It is there, if you scroll back through some of my videos, it is there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to come over and update you guys on my reading challenge. Um, so when I left you guys with my book date, I had just DNF'd One Flew Over the Cuckoo Nest, Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Casey, because I just, yeah, it was too hard. Um, and I moved on to Pictures of Lily by Paige Toon. Um, oh, I loved it. I loved it so much. Um, so basically it says, um, I think of you then, I think of you every day, but usually in the quiet quietest part of the morning or the darkest part of the night. Not when my boyfriend of two years has just proposed. I look up at Richard with his hopeful eyes. Lily, he prompts, it's been 10 years, but it feels like only yesterday that you left. How can I say yes to Richard with all my heart when most of it has always belonged to you? I take a deep breath and will myself to speak. Ten years ago, when Lily was just 16, she fell in love with someone she really shouldn't have fallen in love with. Now living in Sydney and engaged to another man, she can't forget the one that got away. Then her past comes back to haunt her and she has to make a decision that will break her heart. And the heart of at least one of the men who love her. Um, so yeah, I loved this. It's actually staying with me because I would read it again and again. Um, I think I did this in a couple of days. It just, oh. So basically, Lily moves to Australia. Um, yeah, Lily moves to Australia um, with her mum. Her mum meets a man, like, and she's with him. Um, and Lily goes to work with the the man that her mum got with. Uh, he works on like a conservation park with like koalas and kangaroos. And there she meets Ben. Um, and yeah, he sort of shows around, teaches her how to drive, stuff like that. And then he is supposed to go off back to England and marry his fiance. Um, Lily begs him not to go, tells him that she loves him. Um, he knows it's not right because she's only 16 um, and he goes. Lily really struggles to get over it. Um, and then eventually she meets Richard um and moves to a different part of australia um and she's sort of getting on with her life with him and then um yeah she goes to the zoo with her sisters when they come over from england and bumps into ben and yeah it kind of goes from there um spoilers now um because ugh, i have to um, so yeah, she bumps into Ben, um, she doesn't tell him about Richard to start with, um, but she, yeah, goes out for lunch with him, spends a bit of time with him, um, to try and figure out if he is still what she wants, um, and then she kind of realises he is, um, and all the things that she, like, she, uh, used to take a lot of photos when she... Uh, was 16 and sort of Ben encouraged that and when he came back he told her she, she should get a new camera and do lessons because she was really good at it and when she sort of shares this with Richard and says that she's sort of thinking of doing photography he's sort of not as encouraging as he should be for a partner I think um, he doesn't really understand where it's all come from um, and then she kind of explains he tells her she needs to choose um, and she chooses Ben um, so yeah, I I was kind of sad about how it all happened with Richard. I felt quite sorry for him, um, but I think sometimes there's nothing you can do if you know if you're not happy, you can't stay with that person. Um, so yeah, I loved it. I wanted more of the later relationship with Ben and Lily um, because we had a lot of it right at the beginning there's actually most of the book is back when she's 16 um, and there was such a small amount of what happened after her and Ben got back together that I would have loved a bit more from it or even a sequel would be awesome um, but yes I loved it 
So after pictures of Lily, I moved on to my Christmas book. It's um, A Family Christmas by Katie Flynn. Um, hmm, about this one. So it says, Jimmy and Mo Chawin have been living with the cruel Mrs. Huxtable since their mother died and their father left them. Life is miserable, but when Mrs. Huxtable's brutal son Cyril returns home, they are forced to run for their lives, leaving them homeless on the cold streets of Liverpool. Young teacher Glenis Trent has just lost her job. With no family to turn to, she's expecting a bleak Christmas, until fate leads Jimmy and Mo to her door. Glenis's lonely heart is touched by the two ragged children, and she agrees to help them find their mother's family in Wales. But the journey is fraught with danger as Cyril continues to pursue them. Will they ever find a place of safety? Um, so, yes. Um, I... I didn't find it as fraught with danger as I was hoping or expecting maybe is a better word um it was a good read I wouldn't read it again and it will be leaving my collection um but yeah it was okay um so basically as it says on the back um Jimmy and Mo are living with um the Miss Mrs Huxtable while their father is away at sea their mother passed away and their father left them with Mrs Huxtable. Um, I don't think he realised how cruel she was. Uh, Cyril comes home from sea um, and um, he's not very nice to them. Various stuff happens and they run away because he is searching for them. Um, I did find them sort of linking with Glenys a little bit odd. Um, the fact that she just out of nowhere decided to help them. Um, I mean it's a lovely idea but I just didn't particularly yeah, I, I thought it was a bit strange that she was so sort of, they were so attached to each other so quickly. Um, but I did, I did enjoy seeing it all unfold. However, uh, the journey is fraught with danger as Cyril continues to pursue them was a little bit far-fetched. Uh, what I mean by that is Cyril left the book here, um, okay? So, um... Or did he? Hang on. Let me see. Uh... Okay. No, okay. So Cyril left the book here. Um, by left the book, I mean he didn't really feature in it. He was mentioned, but he wasn't searching for them. Or he was searching for them, but not actively. Um, he then came back into it maybe here so all of this section in the middle um was just sort of about how they found um mo and jimmy's family uh their father coming back and searching for them and that was sort of linking together um spoilers to be honest there isn't a lot um glennis and their father get together eventually she goes off into the army so there is um, because there's the war on, so she actually goes off, um, and then they find each other again, and that was really lovely, um, but there wasn't an awful lot of storyline along that front, um, Cyril gets caught later on, um, he faked his own death, and, yeah, it was an odd story, I'll put that out there now, um, but it was okay, I did enjoy it, and I did sort of pick it up, well, I'll keep wanting to pick it up to find out what happened but it wasn't my favorite but it was good enough that I could get through it so you know take that as you will so yeah there's that one and then I moved I, I have moved on to um, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott um, I am actually reading this one on my phone um, just so I can sort of take it out and about with me um, I am up to Oh, where am I up to? Chapter 14, um, so I'm up to, yeah, I'm halfway through, kind of. Just over halfway through. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it so far. It's a bit of a funny one. I'm not going to talk too much about it because obviously I'm still reading it. Um, but yes, this is book 12? No, 11. Yeah. So my book date was book 8. 
um, 9, 10, yeah. So this is book 11, um, I will do a book today on that when I finished it and what book I'll be moving on to. But yes, I loved Pictures of Lily, which was book nine, and Katie Flynn's Christmas, um, A Family Christmas, was okay for book 10. Um, but yeah, that's my book update. I'm sorry, they're kind of all jumbled together in one, but I thought it was probably the easiest way to update you guys um, with where I am. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. I'm gonna keep an eye out for some more page turn books, and yeah. That's all from me. Take care and I'll see you guys very soon.